Welcome to Classy and Kit play Resident Evil 3, the three make. The demo just dropped. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. If you follow me on Twitter, you know I am excited about it. It's in my name now. Can't wait for it to come out. Yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be really good. I will say I like this nemesis. Like, with his face all all covered over. Like, it's really creepy. He has, like, a Cenobite Hellraiser vibe. And I love Hellraiser. It's the best horror franchise ever. Don't care if you agree or not. He's, he's pretty good. I, I would have to concur. But I do feel like the original Nemesis with, like, the stitched together marks all over his face was scarier to me. I don't know. Well, he goes through a couple different forms, so we don't have all of his forms yet. I just feel that this form is not as scary to me. Probably because I'm so obsessed with Hellraiser. Whereas, like, the Frankenstein version of him is more, um, not Cenobite-ish. Although I will say that anyone who plays this game at all must get like absolute Cronenberg vibes going on. Maybe. From all the body morphine horror. I love it. I love his new design. He's perfect. I like I, I I like it. I just it doesn't scare me. Alright, let's get into this. Let's get down to business. This new plague is spreading at a terrifying rate, embedding itself in the corpses already shambling the city streets. Jill has encountered immense difficulties in her attempt Aww. I keep having dreams about her. Not like in a creepy way, Carly, but in like a I'm her. You didn't even think it and I'm taking on horrific me. things. She is an elite operative of RP. You can't see it. Special tactics and rescue service. Ooh. But I'm kind of dressed a little like her right now. Something Valentine. Valentine. This guy knows who we are. CS, platoon leader Mikhail Victor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Oh, isn't he the one that we, in the, the original, we saw fighting off zombies outside of this? Yeah, he like died really. He had like three lines and then died. So the demo, do, the demo isn't starting at the beginning. The demo is picking up in the middle of the action. Yep, which I kind of like. I do too. I think you get a better feel for a game when you're not in tutorial mode. Well, you can thank your corporate over. Oh, there's people in the back. Yes. Well, we are doing I think those are zombies. Those aren't zombies. He's basically saying there's a bunch of civilians. Oh. They were just wandering. They're held up. Aimlessly. My men cannot do this alone. I really like her new design. I do too. There is a possibility that this demo is not going to be something that happens in the game. No, this be is going to happen in the game. Thank you, Jill. People have already played through it. Oh, okay. Because I was going to go, the Resident Evil 2 demo technically happened in the game, but was not how that chunk actually played out at well, all. Yeah, no, they changed things, but all of the story beats were there. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like the way this is going to go down... The story is going to be in the game, but it's not. The beats might not happen at the same oh. breadth from. Oh, that's. It's meta. <laughs> oh, the 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 aiming is really like. I would just like really to say, sensitive. I would just like to say you missed an opportunity. This game should have been released on April second. Because then you would have been the answer to life. Because you would have been forty-two. Tyrant of the Deep. I love it. Hell Squid. I would watch that. <laughs> Resident Evil 3. I don't think those are going to be in the final game. Look, there's a poster for featuring September 30th, 1998. April 3rd, 2020. <laughs> it's 
school stalker. That's Terminator. That's totally a Terminator reference. And that's reference. Alien. Yeah. No, uh, wait, not Aliens. Is that Alien or Predator? It felt like a, like a combination. Like it There's looks like be, an alien creature, but in a Predator outfit. I gotta be able to turn this down a bit. It's a little too wily. Coyote. That's a little bit better. What about those posters? There's like a girl with bubble... No, 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 behind you. There's like a girl with bubble gum or something. The Greek cinema. 1990. That's weird. That looks like dirty shit. <laughs> cinema. Oh, clowns! Katira hates clowns. I could literally watch someone being flayed alive by like, a bunch of random chains that came out of the wall screaming in agony. As long as it wasn't a clown doing it. Speaking Just of don't like clowns. Speaking of Wiley. <laughs> I think this is a this is a Mega Man reference. Dr. Light and Dr. Wily. Will robots surpass humanity? <laughs> come get crabs. Or Jim's come get crabs. lobster at crabs. I got lobster, crabs. Jim's crabs. We couldn't get any crabs, but we found some lobsters. <laughs> Dino bites. Be sure to brush your teeth after eating. I, I have a legitimate reason for not liking clowns. I went to the circus this when I was really little. This is still really wily. I hate this. I went to the circus when I was really little. Like, young enough, I, I don't remember all of it. I only remember the traumatic part. I was, like, under five. And a clown picked me up to take me away from my mom. That's better. And let me ride on the back of a baby elephant. And I'd never left my mom before. And I started screaming and crying. And instead of handing me oh. back to my mom, he sat me down on the ground near the elephant and took off. And so I didn't know where my mom was. And I was screaming and crying. And I have not liked clowns since. I don't remember anything else about the circus except for a clown ripping me out of my mom's arms and then abandoning me on the ground. UBC Ammo Crafting Guide. On the battlefield, if you run, of run out of ammo, your gun's about as useful as a wet fart. What? <laughs> <laughs> Want to stay alive out there? Then get these basic formulas into your skull. Two, uh, two gunpowders, handgun. High grade and regular shotgun. Two high grade equals mag. Once you've stocked up, get out there and join the party. Let's give those dead motherfuckers something to eat. Just make sure you don't become dessert. I personally prefer machine guns. <laughs> I like me. handguns and like machine guns. We played Resident Evil Five Astro and Six together. Crunch. We didn't. We didn't stream it. We missed a great opportunity. We didn't stream it, but we that played an, it together. Is that an Astro Boy? No. And I <gasps> personally. I'm on a poster. <gasps> <gasps> and I can run. I've already figured that much out. I'm still. Wanting to do old school Resident Evil controls where squares run instead of pressing the left stick down, but Let's see. Tabloid, Tabloid front, front page. page. The Cannibal Murders, a complete digest. In the gray of the morning on September 25th, a frantic caller telephoned the RPD to report an assault. A man described as disheveled like a vagrant was attacking attacking a passerby north of the Lambs Museum of Art. The responding officers discovered the multitude of corpses... Mutilated, sorry, that's my bad. Discovered the mutilated corpse of a woman by some dumpsters nearby. Dozens of bite marks covered her body, and she had been dismembered, suggesting she had been eaten. The third known incident of its kind to occur in Raccoon City this month. So, who done it? Really, we're elegant up until who done it. I know it's. Who's it's been weird. munching on man steak? Uh, what? Like it feels like the first half is written by someone else. Completely different. Yeah. We here at News Comet have a nine feeling that the so-called cannibal disease patients Spencer Memorial has been providing free treatment for since August might not be settling for just the cafeteria food. Our reporters have infiltrated Spencer Memorial, asked the tough questions, and come back with horror stories that will make your stomach royal. Turn the page with a scoop. 
I swear, I like the first half. I sounded like an elegant news reporter reading that, and the second half, it just it so dramatically changed in phraseology. I became like, I'm a tabloid speaker, and I'm telling you the news scope, and you better check in at nine and eight. Yeah, it was pretty. Took a pretty big turn there. It was who done it and man stake that like completely shifted the paradigm. Jill, it's me again. You topside yet? Working on it. So what's the plan? We gotta keep Jill looking at posters. Yeah, we're looking at posters. Oh, it's the it's. And how do I do that? It's the Starburst. Rotten Tomatoes. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. That that's a reference to one of the like first really bad but super good cult horror movies. I love I love it when there's invasion like of the I think it was called Invasion of the Rotten Tomatoes. I don't know. If you remember what its actual name is, leave a comment. I love it when there's little Easter eggs like that. I do too. Okay. Ooh ooh. Herb. I feel Herb. like the, the herbs in this. In the, these versions powder, of the games actually look more like rosemary. And in the original games, they looked a little bit more like some MJ. Herb. There's a lot of supplies up here. Gonna have some rosemary and verbena, and it's gonna heal us. Okay. In the original game, we were making Ooh. doobies to heal ourselves, but now it seems like we're about to make some essential oils. Right, yeah. All right, we'll combine that. And then we'll combine this, free up some inventory space. Ooh, I kind of like how they changed the the look of it a little bit. Or it used to kind of just be over to the right. Now it's more centered. Yeah. It's different, and I don't know how I feel about different, but I like it. Pull the bubble. Ah. Herb field manual. Uh. Pip squeaks. This is weird. It feels like this was written, like these manuals were written for or three green herb, first aid spray. Yeah, we know about that. I feel like these were like written for like a boot camp. <laughs> know what I mean? They're script. Ooh, kite bros. Oh, this is the um. Uh, remember in the original you had to put the the things to complete it so you could open up the gateway to go to City Hall? Oh, yeah. Ooh, get one of these. Eat. Our break all laws of physics item box. I missed. Missed again. Keep missing. I do not like how wily I don't like how long this, it takes to take them <laughs> this down. This camera now. is. This aiming is just too freaking wily. There we go. And That's is it better. Also, your camera wobble. No. <laughs> oh, least... he's not dead. At least we can confirm kills now. Because apparently the knife is... Is, uh... Doesn't degrade. Because they replaced it with this! Toy Uncle. Gruesome. You know what they need? Oh yeah, you know it's the 90s. Look at those gas prices. Ooh, what is oh, this? we're gonna blow that gas station up. Well, we did in the original. That's what I'm saying. Um. Oh, one comes out. He was like, I was just coming over here to eat that one, but I, I mean, I'd like, I'd like some warm meat. Uh, yeah. Ah. Get off! You're infected. 
Plot armor. Stab you right in the face. He's not doing a very uh, good job of protecting uh, and serving. Uh. He didn't do a very good job of protect and serve, unless you are counting the serve as in for dinner. Reload. Quick step. It's like dodge. Monster shooter. <laughs> Raccoon tones! <laughs> Boy, Uncle Mega Man. That say, I am Mega Man. I will protect the peace of the universe. He looks like <gasps> Magneto. Ooh, Arthur. Doesn't he? This definitely doesn't look like Mega Man. He looks like Magneto. Remember, you can blow up those barrels. I know. That girl on the poster is like wearing the exact <gasps> same outfit as Jill. Gunpowder. Mista, Mista. And I have some gunpowder. Carlos, I reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. Fuck you. Ho <laughs> ho ho ho. Laying it on thick there, Carlos. Oh, God. The way he said it was really disturbing, too. He was like, surely a uh, tall drink of water like you can put out some flames. But he was saying it in like a really condescending way. So he was like hitting on her and being condescending. Okay, well, where do we go? Oh. Parkour. Hardcore parkour. Oh my god, do you see your eyes? Um wait until they collect. And there. Figured if I take his legs out first. You stay. I would don't worry about them right now. No. I like the environmental stuff. Hey, girl. You just stay over there. Social distancing. With her hair coming out like that, she looks like she's been using Monat. Ah. Oh, God, that one didn't get stunned. Oh, I can't do it again. I wonder if these ones can break through doors like uh, RE2. That was a mechanic people liked. Ooh. And gun ammo. More gunpowder. Where's the music coming from? I heard boot box. Sounds like it's coming from like here or something or over here I don't know stab it stab it. it stab it waste bullets oh it looks like it's super industrial it's not meant to come off You can cut it with that bolt cutter. Greener bolt cutters. Uh, Mix your green herbs. Uh, I want to hold off. Store those. I want to hold off on mixing those just yet. Because... What if I get another red herb? Fair. I was gonna say, don't take both of them then, because 
Oh, go behind you. You can cut that with the bolt cutters. Can I examine? Oh, maybe you can. Doesn't look really bolt cutable. Okay, well, then let's look for something we can cut. We know we have bolt cutters. Who is this? Um, congregate, please. Over this way. Ah! Since we have a knife, I feel like we should be able to stab them with our knife. When they get near our Ooh, face. look at that frame rate drop. Come on. Get a little bit closer. Just a little bit more. They are not having a good day. Nope. Nope, they are not. I like the I like the environmental stuff. Ooh. Me too. And see it's not too gruesome or creepy. Like, I can save ammo. Over here. I could play this game and eat. It's not that bad. Ah. Lots of gunpowder. I like the shine physics they have on all the blood. This is like the RE engine at its pinnacle. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Ugh. Your engine rivals Unreal. Yeah. That guy's probably alive. Uh, which guy? The guy right behind you on your right. You. Oh god, he is. Oh god. God damn it. You know how I know he's alive? Cuz he's walking? No, before he was walking, do you know how I, do you know how I knew he was alive? No. Because at the end of the alley there's a barrel that can blow up. Oh. Which means you're probably going to get flanked on both sides. Yep. Um, the game wanted you to attract those zombies down here to where you could shoot, but where you were shooting would have been right next to the guy that was alive, so the zombie would have attacked you and made it more difficult. All about layout, man. You gotta read and lay out, man. You. Ooh, hand grenade. Were you not able I think to pick he's it up? fine. I got it. Shotgun shells. Um. You're gonna have to backtrack. That's okay. There's an item box. Though. There's an item box right here. Yeah. I like how we're actually in the city. I really love that. I, I really do wish there was more of that in uh, RE2. RE2. I feel like RE2 was them testing to see if doing remakes was a good option i would really I'm gonna like to mix these i would really like to see after resident evil 3 them either remake code veronica or them Fine. branch into a new Fine. resident evil game that takes place between three and four chronologically like or even takes place between three and five Chronologically, Thanks. I would really like to see. I would really like to see a game that is Jill and Chris, like the first one, but that I, takes place before five. I know they already did remade Resident Evil One. I think it would be cool to see Resident Evil One remade like this. I do too. I know. I I just I know that they already remade it, so they're not gonna want to do it again. I mean, it's the remake holds up. I, the remake is, for Resident Evil 1 is arguably much better, but that's a one for one. I would really like to see them do a complete overhaul like they did with 2 and now 3. Yeah, I would like that. Kite bros. I, I would like all three of those things, please. I know that's an unrealistic thing to ask, and I am a picky fanboy, but I would really like a reimagined 
Resident Evil 1, possibly Resident Evil 0. Be in the head. I would really like to see Code Veronica be made in a way that's actually playable. Ah. And I would really like, like, when you play Resident Evil 5, there's a DLC <laughs> where you get to be Chris and Jill getting up to Wesker's mansion. And I remember Classy and I both felt like that felt like a Resident Evil game and not an action game. Yeah, it felt more Resident Evil than... I would love to see that premise <laughs> turned into a whole game of chasing down Wesker and having Ooh, genuine chance. Resident Evil puzzles and a story and like flesh out that and, and like flesh out that segment. I I would pay to have a full game of that. I I would easily drop sixty. High grade gunpowder. Yeah. But I mean, if you if you really want to get us, like you really want to make the most money you could ever make. What you gotta do is come up with a game that has Leon and Jill in it, and you get to play them both. Yeah. I really. I would pay a hundred dollars to this? play both of them in the same game. Red herb. Well, I would buy the deluxe edition with like a figurine if they were both in the same game. Just saying. Can we go up here? I would hype out of that. I would hype out over that the way you are hyping out over Final Fantasy VII remake. Yeah. I I'm just surprised they didn't include Jill or Claire in the um. In Resident Evil Six. I think maybe they felt like they had, they couldn't. This is this is pretty much what the entire playthrough is going to be now that we know we have infinite knife, because we're just going to be knifing everything to make sure that they're still dead. What? Maxed. So you might ah! need them in ten seconds. <laughs> Yeah, that got me. Get off me! Stranger danger! Jesus Christ! You keep your mouth to yourself, boy. No means no, including with food. Oh my god. That really got me. He jump scares so easy. Oh. Whereas I was like, oh, there's ammo right outside the door. Don't. I was in the middle of telling him not to waste ammo because he might need it in a second. Jesus Christ. I was not expecting that. He was right behind the door, and the camera was so perfectly positioned. Because it was meant to be a jump scare. Can you open that bag? Hard left. Nope. It's just a... a... Jesus Christ. That guy's probably alive. When we play through this game for real, we need to do face cams. Yeah, nope, so that dead. all of you can watch me sitting here, just like with a calm face, Ooh. sipping soda, and him be like, ah! oh my god, we played through Until Dawn. Drugstore's owner's journal. This new hair tonic from Umbrella is just flying off the shelves. This stuff may, the stuff they make always works wonders, so it's no surprise. I was counting on this and ordered a huge shipment. My instincts are paying off, literally. I just know the sales continue, word gets out. That said, the string of violent incidents on the news has me worried. Maybe I ought to invest in good in a good safe to hold all this cash I'm rolling in. The safe is just perfect. Nobody knows the code, not even my wife. The secret between me and my beautiful Aqua Cure Queen. Oh from the original. Oh that was uh, in the in the store where we um where I got the high grade gunpowder just over it's there's the aqua cure thing it said that she uh never give up give it up to a thief is that what this is yeah <laughs> oh god damn it <laughs> i thought i killed you i thought i you th did now you have you have now i swear to god i thought i killed him how did he 
How is he not dead? He didn't keep checking. He's dead now. He's not responding to the stabs. Just give if me a you... minute. Overkill, boo. That was stupid. Look, it's Jim's crab. I got crabs. You know, if that's the case, we need to go see a doctor. Up here. More death. Um, but there's also a barrel. So I would test this guy and then look to see where the other ones are gonna come up on you. I need the I need to drop some stuff off first. Yeah, you do. Since we don't have a shotgun yet, we can drop off the where do these guys come from? This is why I carry a purse. Why I carry a purse, and my purse might as well be Hermione's. Hmm. Or Southern Woman's, take your pick. Okay, Jesus Christ. Goddamn zombie. Oh, there you Ooh, go. we can mix a... Put the grenade in and switch it to the grenade and then... Or that, that works. Um... It didn't say that you didn't need the cutters, so you yeah, probably yeah. need them. Wait, did RE2 tell us when we were done with an item other than keys? Yeah, yeah there was a check mark next to it. That meant that we used it for everything we could use it for. Some gunpowder out here. Oh my god. I'm still shaking over that freaking zombie getting me twice. That was stupid. <laughs> you're so cute when you're terrified. At least shooting. I like shooting. I like the environmental stuff. I, I think this game, it's already feeling like it it's assumes... You played Resident Evil 2? You know what I mean? Yeah. So it, it's familiar? Well, Jeff. I feel like... I think you wasted that. I don't. Gunpowder. Aha! Now I'll have a shortcut. Oh! I'm gonna stay up here. We're fine. We're fine! Okay. Okay. Now we'll go look at Aqua Cure. I swear to God, if this zombie is not dead. Oh, you made his clothes? <laughs> Just making sure. <laughs> that's the one thing that's different about this to the old one. You could tell which zombies weren't real because they were obviously pre-rendered and looked a lot better than the in-game zombies. Just now you, these, now you can't tell. Now you can't tell at all. Okay, if I learned anything from our playthrough of Resident Evil 2, if you can see the zombie, it's not dead. A healthy family is a happy family. Make sure to receive regular medical exams. See? Call me! Escape to ecstasy. Aqua cure. So. Okay. Left nine, right one, left eight. So we lit. Left nine, right one, left eight. Left nine, right one. I am. I'm still shook. 
Don't forget the combination. Uh, left nine. Right one. Left eight. Okay. I would just like to know... We got... Ooh. We are currently in a world where Umbrella has made shampoos that everybody is buying like crazy. And everyone's hair is falling out. So, what if... What if the shampoo turns people into zombies? If it was the shampoo. It was the shampoo all along. Okay. And this is why... Look, now I got a I don't use Monet products. Because I would turn into a zombie. Now I have a dot. Oh, you didn't have a dot before because you didn't have a scope? Yeah, well, it's like a little dot. It's not a laser, but it's a dot, so you can be able to see better. Okay. Um... I'm going to put this in. Well, that's good. I was afraid we are going to go the whole game without that. I'm going to put this in. I'm going to combine that. Bring that over here to combine. I would just like to say. I'm going to store that. Zombie games do not always come with plot protection. We played The Walking Dead um, as a live stream last night. You should watch it. Not always plot protection. Okay, so, there's only one other place to go now, right? It's in here. Kite Bros Railway? Did we not go in Jim's Crab? <laughs> oh, I didn't try. You have to go through zombie over here. Zombie thing over here. You're fine. 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 How can he bite us? He doesn't have a face. How, how do you bite with no mouth? He's going to grab you. No, we can't go into Jim's Crab Shack. Okay, then back up. Back up. Back up. Back in. Run, run, run. <laughs> <laughs> he did. His jaw was gone. How could he have bit us? Man, you don't need a jaw to bite. I mean, human anatomy would greatly disagree with you. Oh, look, we finally found one that doesn't look alive. God. Oh. They move kind of fast for... Stumbling around. If ever a zombie apocalypse hits us, say it again. I want like slow ass walking dead zombies. Ugh. I I don't want I don't want I am legend zombies that are like ridiculously fast. And I don't want Resident Evil zombies that, like, morph Ooh. and change into giant scary creatures. We got the hose. And I don't want Left for Dead zombies that vomit acid on you, okay? Give me the slow zombies so I have a chance to live. Subway employees memo. Violence getting worse and worse these past few days. Got a shotgun for when it hits a breaking point. It's almost like a haiku. Locking it up in the gun rack. That should keep it safe from any would-be looters while I go out and try to find some more shells. Things go south. Cut the chain and bust out that sucker. I pray we all make it out alive. Okay. Shotgun. Hopefully it doesn't take up two spaces like, um, like it did in RE2. No. Oh, we're in a gun slot. Yeah. Well, I wonder if I can shoot it off with a shotgun. 
Hand grenade. Gunpowder. Damn it! I'm gonna try it. Okay, so we know where the, the, what's it called is. Oh, God! That is so cool. Look at his head. It was like twisted up Ugh. with his mouth all the way open. He was like, oh. It was like a really creepy version of a them painting. I'm sure I'm saying his name wrong. I'm butchering that language. I we haven't. We haven't tried any of the dodging mechanics yet. Okay. Auto save. Okay. Um. I don't know what we should put that away for now. That away for now. Out the shotgun shells. You could take out the handgun ammo and mix it with the other handgun ammo. Oh, yeah, huh? Oh, it did it for you. Nice. Um, Leave your I feel like I need, space. yeah, I need some expansion. I bet by the time we get to this point in the actual game, there's a possibility we'll have more slot. I do love that it kind of brings the whole survival horror back to, you know, survival horror, inventory management and everything. It's the best kind of horror. This must be the subway company's offices. I, I'm not going to lie. I, I did enjoy... Like a puzzle. I did enjoy Resident Evil 4, which is a little bit more action horror. And I did enjoy Resident Evil 5, which is just action. I didn't enjoy Resident Evil 6. We haven't even finished that. In the event of a power outage, the subway will automatically cease operations. Once power has been restored, please use the control panel to confirm the stations at which the train will stop, as well as which track seg segments will be used. The route entered is unsafe, an error will occur, and operators and operations will not resume. Okay? Huh. Nothing. Uh, okay. Raccoon! Are we supposed to remotely move this train, then? I th oh, I have to restore power to this so I can be able to... Okay. So we need, we need the, um, we need to put out the fire so we can get to the power station so we can store power to here. Can I get in the back of this? Is that guy? Oh, no, I'm not going out. I'm not going to lie. It's so, it's, it's smart to keep the game set in the 90s just because I feel like survival horror today would be much different than survival horror in the 90s. Because, Party stage. Because nowadays we would have our phones and we would be able to look a bunch of shit up until they died. <gasps> I was not anticipating this yet. Oh, he turned him into something. Oh, God. Leave me alone. No! It gave you no disassemble! I don't even think I have the... Oh, God. Get, I just go! I don't have the hose. Why don't I, you have the hose? Because we need to put out the fire. <laughs> go back for the hose! I gotta go and get the hose, buddy. He's over... You die. Go! I apologize for screaming so loudly. Jesus Christ. Uh. In the safe room. Okay. Um. Fire hose. Hopefully I don't need the bolt cutters too. Oops. 
Yeah, you're gonna end up using that grenade when you walk out. Okay. Oh, he's right outside that door. He shouldn't come into safe rooms, though. If he's like Mr. X. Sure, he shouldn't come into safe rooms, but that doesn't mean you don't have to eventually go out this door. Go around the corner. What are you doing? I just throwing the grenade. You wasted it. You didn't see his face. Go, 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 go. I got him. I got him. I got him. Next time, don't fire until you see the <laughs> whites of his eyes. He doesn't have any whites on his eyes. Do you know what? That zombie has a big butt. Leave me alone. And an ugly face. My god. It's a face only a mother could love. Use. Okay. Oh god! <laughs> I'm not stars anymore. I'm on leave. That's it? That was really short. I was hoping we would get to face him. That's all we get? 20 dolls? That was really underwhelming. It was just at the good part. I wanted you to have to face him and scream a lot. Ooh, trailer. That, I thought there was going to be a lot more to that. Giant worm, giant worm. <gasps> oh, it's the the uh, dude, dude from uh, second game with daughter. Oh, we're gonna get to see why his daughter got infected. Maybe. Sorry. <gasps> was Marvin? It seems like they're expanding this game so that it includes a lot more stuff from Resident Evil 2, I and like that, it. we'll probably then pass out. And then pick up and those characters will have moved on to their Resident Evil 2 positions. I feel like a lot of no. people were just saying it played like Final Fantasy 15 because it wasn't turn based and it was you could switch characters, which became a thing you could do in Final Fantasy 15. And it looks like just any regular, oh, you're fighting and the things there kind of.